Some people had asked that I give a little more explanation or background on this and maybe some proof of uh, that I'm not touching the steering wheel. So hopefully I can uh, do that without boring anybody to tears. So here we are, we're going. I was gonna just demonstrate the fact that this, um, this implementation, I can actually turn on the stock lane keep assist and it will, it will ping pong us between the lane markers, just, just like it does out of the box. When we engage open pilot, however, I'm gonna shoot for 65 here, which you engage it by turning on the cruise control. Open pilot keeps you centered in your lane. You can see the uh, overlay of how it's detected your lane markers. And here is my steering wheel and gas pedals not being touched. But that'll be more interesting when we get to a curb, I think. So most of the, the work that was done to get this working on a Bolt was done by the community's port for the Volt, the Chevy Volt. Um, there's some major differences in the way that the Bolt and the Volt handle the Lane Keep Assist feature. The biggest one being that in the Bolt, all the messages are sent directly from this front-facing camera. So we're able to intercept messages from the front-facing camera to the car and filter them at will. And we can then replace them with our open pilot messages that do a much, much better job keeping us centered in lane. The lane centering is called lateral control, and uh, it took months, like a bunch of months, to get this working reliably. It would work for a few minutes, and then it would just fault. Oh, see? One hand on the camera. Hopefully, um, sorry for the shaky cam. That is enough evidence that it's able to navigate turns. It can actually navigate some surprisingly sharp turns, but it kind of freaks out a little bit when you do. So, um, the, so that the one big difference between the Volt and the Bolt is that everything we need is in the camera connector. The other big difference is that the Bolt's power steering column is incredibly picky about the timing of messages that are sent. Normally, the open pilot generates those messages from the Eon here, sends it to the Panda. I don't know if we can see the Panda. Probably can't see the Panda. Um, sends it to the Panda. The Panda sends it over the CAN bus, which causes the steering wheel to turn. Um, that message has a rolling counter in it, which on the Volt, if you miss values in the rolling counter, it doesn't care. On the Bolt, if you miss a single value, it it faults. And when I say it faults, I mean you have to pull the car over, shut it down, open and close the driver's side door, and then wait five minutes for the, uh, the uh, network to quiesce. It's a little ridiculous. <clears throat> so I had to make it so that it never stopped sending the messages. And then I had to come up with a way to get it to send the messages reliably every 20 milliseconds. The code that generates those messages is written in Python, and I'm not going to say anything bad about Python right now, but it, it occasionally has pauses. I could get up to maybe 45 minutes, um, but inevitably it would fault. So what I ended up doing is implementing a message pump on the Panda. The Panda runs a STM32 microcontroller. Let me see if I can get you a shot. I don't know if you can see it there. Anyway, that is the interface between Open Pilot and the car. So I'm using a timer on the STM32 to, like, clockwork generate the, uh, the messages. Since doing that, I haven't had any more faults. So, somebody at one point argued that the Bolt was simple, and 
technically speaking, all the commands are the same as other GM cars. But for some reason, this power steering module is so picky. It's ridiculous. So what we have working now is just lateral. Um, the, they don't make a bolt that has uh, automatic cruise control. So what I'm going to do to get around that is Open Pilot has camera based radar, you could say. It has a, the ability to use the camera to detect the distance to the car in front of you. So I don't have to have radar in the bolt, which no bolts come with radar at this point. Um, and then I should be able to build a pedal interceptor that will allow Open Pilot to control the throttle. The last piece is I should be able, I'm hoping I can use the automatic emergency braking command to apply the brakes if necessary. Those are all future, uh, future things. I don't know, they're probably several months away at least, but um, just wanted to let you know I am actively working on it and it does in fact, I'll turn it back on again, steer itself. Um, the car has torque limits uh, for the lane keep assist, so those are the situations where if the turn is too sharp, it can't keep up, and that's what just happened there. So hopefully that helps answer your questions, and uh, thanks for watching.